<laughs> yeah! Alright, World War One clearly better than World War Two. Where'd the other two go? Alright, ladies and gentlemen, Baron here, so I've got a treat for you. Here, son, it is time for you to know something. First, you're gonna have to deal with my terrible German accent. I have never told this story to anyone before. I am glad that I can tell my story now. Please don't... Don't pay, pay any mind to the uh, screen right now. It all started on that one January morning. I speak no German, but ladies and gentlemen, Erfeld Webel. I hope I did not pick you up on an inconvenient time. However, our ground troops report many French cacquats over the front lines. We, sus we suspect that something major is imminent. Artois? Artois? has had bad weather for the past week, so we have had no aerial recon. This means we have no clue what they have up their sleeve. We need you to take care, take off and cover your partner. He will spot enemy trenches. I also have this, a letter from your father. Read it when coming back. Interestingly enough, but look at this, ladies and gentlemen. We've got the Eindecker, what was that? The map was like moving. That was kind of cool. Look at this beauty. It is a World War I era fighter. It's one of the first planes to have the synchronized machine gun. Look at that. We've got a single machine gun. Well, you can't see the propeller. We don't have a cockpit. But anyway, guys, let's take off. So, we're going to be discussing the viability of World War I and uh, just thereafter era aircraft. Now you will have already noticed that this thing is incredibly, incredibly fast. The speed at which we're going to get up to, plus the fact that we have, you know, war emergency power, WEP, means that this flight model isn't entirely historical. So it's faster so that you can complete these objectives in time. You're going to be able to find a download link in the video description so that you too can play the Eindecker. But, anyway, we gotta go through this real quick and I'll, I'll be back with you in a minute. All right guys, so we're nearing the last waypoint, I'm fairly certain. Oh, look at this. We gotta go say hi real quick to our friendly Eindecker. Stay close to your teammate. This is where you joke to your teammate over the radio. Granted, they didn't have radios in World War One. keep that in mind. That, hey mate, I'm on your six. And then he freaks out, and you guys joke, and you fire some bullets <laughs> over their wing. And in old War Thunder, when you could kill your teammates, you'd accidentally hit them, <laughs> and they would explode. <laughs> okay. But ladies and gentlemen, so War Thunder's been out for, what, four years. A lot of people... I feel like more matches are played in the top tiers than in the lower and middle tier. Well, tier one and two not nearly played as much as four and five i would venture to say these days especially in ground forces which is where i pay most of my attention to but i remember asking for world war one and interwar basically the time between world war one and world war two those era aircraft to be put in at least at maybe like a tier zero type event and this must have been probably two years ago that i requested that and then I remember when they added the map Spain, which is an interwar map, if you think about it, and Cacklin Goal as well. Although, yeah, we won't get into Cacklin Goal. Anyway, but Spain. Oh, what's up, buddy? Look at that beautiful plane. And we'll talk to you later, sir. But it looks like we've got to destroy these barrage balloons. Mein Gott! Nein! Das kann nicht sein! I don't know if I'm pronouncing this right. Oh, Fatherland. My Fatherland. Whom's can now call thy friend? They are the dead. Short days ago. They lived, felt down, and saw sunsets glow. Now they lie in no man's field or land. Oh, Fatherland. Mine Fatherland. I'll avenge them. So we had a little bit of a poem there. We are a warrior poet. This is the war to end all wars, after all, so things are a little bit more grandiose and romantic in nature. So it looks like we've got some barrage balloons. It looks like we've got uh, 492 rounds machine gun. There's some flak fire coming from all manner 
Oh man, we're getting nicked. I hope that. All right. I don't want wartime emergency power. Is this thing dead yet? Whoa! That one. That was. That was kind of too close for comfort. All right. Pepper it with MG5, mate. Don't jam the guns either. You just gotta believe that you will win. All right. Which one's next? This one is. Whoa! French planes. If I fall in this battle, let it be told that I have no regrets, save for my loved ones I leave behind. Wow. Shit. Alright, well, where's the enemy aircraft? Destroy those planes. I thought my objective was to kill these barrage balloons. Oh my god, we are... Let's see, do we have any on our six? I don't even know where they are at. Do you see anybody? Neither do I. Oh god, oh god, that was close. That was too close. Alright, we got, what, one balloon left? I wonder how far, like, the velocity of the machine guns used in World War I. That'd be really interesting. Okay, oh, we got P-26s! And they're chasing mine friend, okay. Look at our wings, all kinds of shot up already from the anti-aircraft fire from the ground. So it's gonna be nice to get out from there. Now... This is the reason from what Z Peregrine, the maker of this lovely aircraft. So thank you, sir. He was saying that we basically modified the flight model so that it could keep up with P-26s. There aren't any other World War I era aircraft. Um, I mean, we could put like POTUs, and some of, uh, you know, maybe like P-10s or HE-51s or something like that, but you know, pea shooters, baby. Peace shooters. They are literally descending on my friend. What is that? <gasps> oh, God. They just wrecked him. Okay. Wow. Alright, we're gonna jump on this guy real quick. Getting some flashes. Oh, hello. Mission objective completed. All right, so I killed all of them. <laughs> Every single one of them, son. Well, I think this mission might need just a tad bit of alteration because last I checked, I shot one of them. It read, Dear Arvin, I, your father, received word last night. A sergeant of the army came to our home. He delivered the news that my son had been killed in action. I realized then that it took me 50 years to realize how essential you were to me. Wow, a little, little late there, friend. I wish these conflicts could have been solved verbally instead of physically. That I would have you in my arms instead of to lo have lost you. I'm having to modify the text. I write to you because I realized I never wrote anything to you. This is my letter to comfort you. Because if I had not written anything, then I could have never lived with the grief of your death. I knew then what grief I had caused and vowed never to kill again. All those people dead because of me. Wait, well then what am I supposed to do? I know I did horrible things, but please forgive me, my son. Am I the son or... Hmm. Yeah, I do. All right, I'm, I'm clearly the son. Well, guys, we're going to continue this session. It looks like there's some aircraft up here buzzing around. All right, guys, so that mission was more or less just kind of like Z Peregrine's, you know, one of his first attempts. Oh, my God, Blumen Voss 238s, and I've got to kill them with an Eindecker, and I've got 500 rounds of machine gun, and this should be fun, to say the least. All right, well, we're going to get above them and try to come down on them. Look at this map. Gorgeous. What What map is this exactly? It doesn't, we, we don't know for certain. But anyway, so this is just kind of a fun one. Look at that. Ladies and gentlemen, I found where I'd like to have my house. Wouldn't that be epic? A fortress on a hill overlooking these cute little cities and villages below. I don't recognize this map from any of them that are in circulation. I wonder, could it be an older one or 
A custom made one? Either way, it's beautiful. But we're not the fastest of aircraft, neither is the BV-238. But I did want to get some elevation, so basically, this has kind of started a discussion in the comments section is, what do you guys think about at least either a special event on occasion, or a tier zero kind of a thing? Because I can't really imagine World War One tanks being all that interesting for the most part. I mean, unless you were to count the Renault FT-17. Well, guys, it's time to die. See you in the... Oh, God, they're already firing. <laughs> You're kidding me, Z. How am I supposed to do this? Same for the underbellies. Look at those guys on the wings, man. So we're clearly in the uh, least safest spot. We could damage their elevator. What? This guy's going to crash. <laughs> yeah. All right. World War One clearly better than World War Two. Where'd the other two go? Aha. All right. Let's build up some speed as we dive right over grandmother's house. Hello, Granny. I'll see you later for cookies and milk. Oh, my. Those houses, man. Around here, dude, things are crazy. The Germans have this, like, levitation. <laughs> anyway, guys, so, back to World War One. the relevant stuff, right? Where are you, aircraft? There you are. So, another one must have crashed. Does this one crash, too? Guys? We just gotta hit him once with MG fire. And then if he crashed, I mean, it's because of us. Alright, so he threaded the needle. Is there another one? Wow. I don't know where they're trying to go. <laughs> okay, and then it just restart. Oh, <laughs> now we have to fight TU-4s. Z, you're a sick man. A sick, sick man. Anyway. Ooh, and there's a fort over there. Now, if this was just a big open world map with airfields and infantry running down below, there's you guys and your squads on TeamSpeak. Or Discord. Oh my god, TU-4s. Oh, there goes my wing. <laughs> TU-4 bias. But it, it makes, I just want to ask, like, would it be possible? Would it be desired to have a World War One? in interwar era game mode in War Thunder. Because I think it would be kind of cool. Overloads. Look at that. You can see the smoke from where BV-238's crashed. I want to land this baby real quick. Just out here in this, like, what seems to be like an Italian rolling countryside. I would imagine that's what it is. And we're going to glide right over this house and land between these trees. But I just want to leave you with that question. World War I, what vehicles would be used? What planes would you like? I mean, there's so much other stuff to implement before it that when I asked this question maybe two years ago, it made a lot more sense than it does now. But with boats on the horizon, you know, Chinese tanks are coming out of the woodwork. We're going to have to land over here. Rudder. Oh, yeah, baby, this thing. This thing's going to land fine. We're going to land in this field of flowers stop right before the, this orchard here and ladies and gentlemen this is the Eindecker about face and ladies and gentlemen I will see you in the next video but let me seriously let me know your thoughts I mean there's so many other things to add now that I think about it it's just like I don't know how viable it would be anyway guys it's a fun little model made by Z Peregrine download link in the video description and I'll see you guys in the next video